Uh, just a short video on a little detail that you uh, should not overlook if you turbocharge the 2.5. Um, so with this setup, you have the uh, EVAP line coming off the throttle body to the purge valve, which goes back towards the uh, gas tank. Now, the purge valve um, has some vacuum that goes this, this direction towards the uh, throttle body. And it, what you don't want is when you're building boost, you don't want that charge to go backwards into that line because uh, it pressurizes the fuel system. It can damage the purge valve, but it can also pressurize the gas tank and potentially crack it. That's something you definitely want to avoid. It's very um, labor intensive and can be expensive. So what you do is you install a little check valve, just like this guy, in the line. Some people have actually installed them over here. I was suggested by a, a shop owner, Nothing Leaves Stock. Josh Pashas told me to, oops, <laughs> just put it over here between the purge valve and the firewall. So that's what I'm gonna do. And you always wanna check to see what the flow direction is on these. They have a little uh, triangular indicator. If you look real closely, this one's gonna be near impossible to see. There it is. You'll see which flow it has to go, and that's going to be flowing towards the engine, not away from it. Um, so yeah, install the check valve there to avoid any costly damages when you turbocharge the 2.5. And that's it. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And there you go. Flow indicators pointing this direction towards the engine, like I mentioned. Uh, and that's really all there is to it. It's got like a, a small, like one-step push lock system on each side, but. I'm going to put little clamps or zip ties on it for now. I like to have everything actually clamped. Um, just little worm drives do a really good job. But uh, So I'll put some on there, but for now I'm just going to zip tie it, and that should be good enough, honestly. But, you know, I always kind of go overkill with stuff, so that's it.